안녕하세요. Today, let's talk about a question word, 어느. It follows a single pattern, 어느 plus noun or dependent noun. In this case, 어느 serves as an ad nomina. For example, 어느 버스, 어느 방향, and 어느 거. In this way, 어느 should be followed by a noun or dependent noun. And 어느 has several meanings, but today let's look at the two meanings that are used the most commonly and frequently. Okay, let's get started. First, when choosing from limited options, 어느 it's used when asking to choose from limited options. So it corresponds to which in English. If there are two train stations in the city, you can call and ask your uncle who visited you. 삼촌, 지금 어느 역에 있어요? Which station are you at now, uncle? 삼촌, 지금 어느 역에 있어요? If there are two clinics in front of your house, you can ask like this. 엄마, 어느 병원에 갈 거예요? Which clinic are you going to, mom? 엄마, 어느 병원에 갈 거예요? Okay, let's take a look at a few more questions. 어느 학교에 다녀요? Which school do you attend? 어느 학교에 다녀요? 어느 브랜드를 좋아해요? Which brand do you like? 어느 브랜드를 좋아해요? And where are you from? Will become 어느 나라에서 왔어요? Or 어느 나라 사람이에요? Of course, grammatically, 어떤 나라 can be used. But in this case, 어느 나라 is used idiomatically. 어느 나라에서 왔어요? 어느 나라 사람이에요? So let's think about replacement of question words. Depending on the context, you can replace 어느 with the other question words, such as 어디, 언제, 무슨, 어떤, or 누구. Here are some examples. After suggesting a few tourist spots in Korea to your parents, you can ask them, 어느 곳에 가고 싶어요? Which place do you want to go? 어느 곳에 가고 싶어요? This sentence can also be asked using the question word 어디. 어디에 가고 싶어요? Where do you want to go? 어디에 가고 싶어요? And 어느 시간이 편해요? Which time is convenient for you? Can be replaced with 언제가 편해요? When is convenient for you? 어느 시간이 편해요? 언제가 편해요? 어느 친구랑 팀을 짜고 싶어요? Which friend do you like to team up with? 어느 친구랑 팀을 짜고 싶어요? It can be replaced with 누구. 누구랑 팀을 짜고 싶어요? Who do you like to team up with? 누구랑 팀을 짜고 싶어요? 어느 계절을 좋아해요? Which season do you like? It can be replaced with 무슨. 무슨 계절을 좋아해요? What season do you like? And it can also be replaced with 어떤 if this question is asking not about the characteristics of seasons, but about choosing a specific season among four seasons. 어떤 계절을 좋아해요? Which season do you like? 어느 계절을 좋아해요? 무슨 계절을 좋아해요? 어떤 계절을 좋아해요? 
tip. When given limited choices, it's more natural to express in comparatives and superlatives. Let's make a story. If there are several ways to get to a certain point, you can ask, 어느 길이 빨라요? Which way is a fast? And, 어느 길이 더 빨라요? Which way is a faster? And, 어느 길이 가장 빨라요? Which way is the fastest? 가장 and 제일 can be used interchangeably. 어느 길이 빨라요? 어느 길이 더 빨라요? 어느 길이 가장 빨라요? 어느 길이 제일 빨라요? Dependent noun 어느 also comes with the dependent noun such as 것, 쪽, 분, and so on. Firstly, look at 것 that corresponds to thing or one in English. If you are getting different answers each time when you solve a math problem, you can ask your teacher. 선생님, 어느 게 맞아요? Which one is correct? 선생님, 어느 게 맞아요? Check the spelling carefully. K is the form when the subject particle E is added to 거, which is an informal form for 것. If I give you two words or expressions in one sense, you could ask me. 어느 게 자연스러워요? Which one sounds natural? 어느 게 자연스러워요? You can also ask using comparatives. 어느 게더 자연스러워요? 어느 게더 자연스러워요? 어느 게더 맛있어요? Which one tastes better? 어느 게더 맛있어요? 어느 게더 싱싱해요? Which one is a fresher? 어느 게더 싱싱해요? And for direction, we use the dependent noun 쪽. 어느 쪽이에요? Which way is it? 어느 쪽이에요? For people, 분 is used. If you want to find the one person among several people, you can ask 어느 분이 김창우 씨예요? Who is Mr. Kim Chang-woo? 어느 분이 Kim Chang-woo 씨예요? Second, when referring to unspecified case. 어느 is also used when referring to unidentified or unspecified people or things among two or more options that don't need to be specifically stated. It can be translated as a, one, or a certain. For instance, it can be used when referring to unspecified times, such as 어느 해 7월, 어느 봄날, 어느 날 오후, or when referring to unspecified places, such as 어느 나라, 어느 도시, 어느 별. Okay, let me show you some sentences. 옛날 어느 마을에 한 아이가 살고 있었어요. Once upon a time, there was a child living in a village. 옛날 어느 마을에 한 아이가 살고 있었어요. 어느 가을 저녁, 은비는 집을 떠났어요. One autumn evening, Umbi left her home. 어느 가을 저녁, 은비는 집을 떠났어요. 은비는 어느 작은 회사에서 일했어요. Umbi worked in a small company. 은비는 어느 작은 회사에서 일했어요. 
In this manner, when referring to unspecified times and places, on is commonly used to describe events that took place in the past.